What if I told you that the skies are about to witness a revolution? Imagine an aircraft so advanced it could redefine aerial warfare as we know it. Today, we're diving into the clandestine world of military aviation to reveal the highly anticipated successor to the iconic F-22 Raptor. Get ready to uncover the mysteries behind the latest marvel of engineering, the US F-24 fighter jet. How does it compare to its predecessors? What groundbreaking features does it boast? And most importantly, what does it mean for the future of aerial combat? Join us as we embark on an exhilarating journey into cutting-edge military technology. September 7th, 2024 marked the 27th anniversary of the F-22 Raptor's inaugural flight, solidifying its status as the world's first fifth-generation fighter jet. The aircraft underwent a six-year development phase, initiated to succeed the outdated F-15 Eagle. The development program incurred a substantial cost of 66 intag 7 billion from research and development to production and indirect expenses. Serial production commenced in 1997 and concluded in 2011, constructing 195 units, including pre-production models. The unit price of the F-22 Raptor, as assessed by the US General Accounting Office by the end of 2010, amounted to 41.7 million. What did the military procure for such an exorbitant price for a fighter jet? Let's begin with the primary attribute distinguishing the Raptor as a fifth-generation fighter. Its radar cross-section, quantified in EPR, effective scattering area. The F-22 boasts an EPR of merely 0.1 square meters. Picture a colossal entity, weighing nearly 20 tons with dimensions of 19 meters in length and a wingspan of 13 meters. Yet, on radar, it appears diminutive, akin to a tie cufflink in a corporate attire ensemble. It presents a shallow, observable target. This feat is primarily achieved by integrating novel composite materials, predominantly besamide-based, heat-resistant polymers capable of withstanding temperatures up to 230 DRC, rendering them impervious to radar detection. These materials constitute 40% of the aircraft's total weight. Additionally, a distinctive radio-absorbing coating and a specialized design of the airframe and engine nozzles are employed. The fuselage is meticulously crafted from the flattest conceivable surfaces. The contours of the crevices, such as those between the cockpit canopy and the fuselage, the landing gear flaps and armament compartments, exhibit a serrated profile, facilitating effective dispersion of radio waves and thwarting direct reflection towards enemy radar. The nozzles are also engineered to be flush, minimizing infrared visibility. Crafted from advanced ceramic materials possessing high radio wave absorption rates, they further diminish the vehicle's detectability. Moreover, the nozzle's upper and lower surfaces can manipulate thrust vectoring, giving the aircraft exceptional maneuverability. The secondary remarkable aspect of the Predator lies in its detection system. Housing the ANAPG-77 radar unit equipped with an active phased array antenna, this system excels at pinpointing targets. Capable of detecting the Russian Su-35 at distances ranging from 140 to 160 km, 185 to 100 miles, the Predator maintains a significantly reduced radar cross-section, allowing it to evade detection by the Russian pilot until closer range, typically within 40 to 50 km, 25 to 30 miles. With the F-22 armed with missiles boasting a range of 120 km, 75 miles, the Russian aircraft risks being engaged without prior awareness of the impending threat. This epitomizes the core doctrine of the F-22 Raptor, detect first, strike first. The tertiary notable attribute of the F-22 resides in its power plant, equipped with twin F-119 PW100 turbojet engines manufactured by Pratt & Whitney the aircraft achieves a maximum velocity of 2,410 km h or 500 parksum. Although this falls short of the Russian Su-35's top speed of 2,778 km h or 726 m, the F-22 remains the fastest fifth-generation fighter, even with its peacetime speed capped at 2,297 km h, 165 m. Additionally, it boasts a supercruise capability, 
maintaining speeds of up to 2800 km h, once 118 pfumpsch, without the need for afterburners, a feat unmatched by any other aircraft to date. Notably, the F-22 exhibits exceptional angle of attack characteristics. It possesses the unique ability to maintain roll control during high G maneuvers such as the Herps maneuver, involving steep turns, and the Cobra Pugachev, where the aircraft achieves a vertical orientation, showcasing its unparalleled agility and maneuverability. What armaments does this stealthy, swift and agile aerial predator carry? Primarily, it houses six AM 120C AMRAM air-to-air -air missiles with a range extending to 120 km, alongside two AM 9M Sidewinder short-range missiles capable of reaching distances up to 35 km or 22 miles. Additionally, the aircraft can accommodate JDAM GBU-39 and SDB-53B precision guided bombs, all stowed within internal bays to minimize radar detection. This fighter can deploy missiles and release bombs while soaring at supersonic velocities. Complementing its arsenal is a 20mm cannon, M61A2 Vulcan, enabling the discharge of 480 rounds. Regarding its durability, the aircraft is engineered to endure impacts from 30mm fragmentation, incendiary and armor-piercing shells, standard armaments utilized by Russian aircraft. The aircraft's uniqueness prompted the United States Congress to enact legislation in 1999 prohibiting its export to any foreign entity. This decision was upheld despite expressed interest from nations like Japan and Australia, who favored it over the more economical F-35. Israel also considered the predator, but ultimately opted for the F-35. Although Congress deliberated on offering Israel a batch of F-22s with reduced functionalities, no consensus was reached. Undoubtedly, the F-22 stands as the epitome of fighter aviation. However, its production ceased in 2011 after reaching 195 units. Despite initial plans to manufacture 750 aircraft, subsequent revisions reduced the contract to 648, then to 339 in 2004, eventually dwindling to 277 units and 183 aircraft by 2006. In 2008, four additional aircraft were added to the production line. Only 195 planes were completed, eight were earmarked for testing, and never entered active service. The final delivery of the Predator to the US Air Force occurred on May 2, 2012. So, why did this occur? Let's delve into some drawbacks of this remarkable aircraft. Foremost among these is its excessive operational costs, distinct from its production expenses. While continued production might have eventually reduced manufacturing costs, operating expenses do not diminish with each hour of flight time. The F-22 Raptor incurred a staggering $68,000 per hour for the American Treasury, dwarfing the $42,000 F-15C and coming in $10,000 higher than the F-15E Strike Eagle. Even the F-16C Fighting Falcon, a formidable fighter jet, operated at a significantly lower cost of $22,500 per hour. Comparatively, the priciest variant of another American fifth-generation fighter, the F-35B, commanded $44,100. At the same time, its cheapest counterpart, the F-35A, came in at $28,900. Moreover, the complexity of maintenance is amplified, primarily due to the intricate upkeep required for its radio-absorbing coating. While the aircraft boasts impressive capabilities, such as its high maneuverability, it suffers from a limited combat radius of just 760 kilometers and relatively restricted functionality. Equipped solely with precision-guided bombs for ground targets, it needs more versatility in addressing all mission requirements, particularly against moving targets. What lies ahead for this exceptional aircraft? Fortunately, the Pentagon remains committed to its enhancement rather than relegating it to obsolescence. Recognizing the enduring value of its unique capabilities, efforts are underway to modernize the Predator. In November 2021, it was revealed that the US Air Force had inked a $10.9 billion contract with Lockheed Martin for the F-22 modernization initiative. This extensive undertaking will unfold in Fort Worth, Texas, with a slated completion period of 10 years, extending until October 31, 2031. 
These initiatives aim to prolong the operational lifespan of the F-22 until the mid-21st century, or even into the 2060s, when it will eventually be succeeded by sixth-generation aircraft. As for the modernization process itself, specifics are understandably kept confidential. However, it's disclosed that updates will encompass onboard equipment and software enhancements. This includes an upgraded radar system and the integration of an optical locating station with a helmet-mounted display. Additionally, new communication systems will enhance the maneuverability of F-22 units. The aging stealth coating will be replaced with a more recent version borrowed from the F-35, and more advanced air-to-air -air missiles will be integrated into the aircraft's arsenal. Now let's unpack this. Despite its exceptional capabilities, the Predator lacks infrared search and tracking sensors. This omission is significant because while the F-22's radar can detect the Su-35 from distances of 140 to 160 kilometers, remaining undetected by the Russian pilot, it could be more foolproof. Although the F-22 may evade detection by Russian radar, its active radar emissions could reveal its presence. In contrast, infrared sensors operate passively, emitting no signals and thus preserving the aircraft's stealth. The designers initially recognized this crucial factor and incorporated infrared sensors into the F-22's design. However, political considerations intervened. With the helicopter already carrying an astronomical price tag, officials deemed adding this system to the F-22 unnecessary. Furthermore, the Predator is set to be equipped with air-to-surface missiles, such as the AGM-158 JASM, developed by Lockheed Martin, the same manufacturer behind the armament of the F-35. Additionally, aging air-to-air -air missiles AM-9M and AM-10C will replace the more advanced AM-9X and AM-10D variants. Pilots of the F-22 will be outfitted with helmets featuring JHMCS technology, akin to those utilized by F-35 pilots. This technology enables pilots to receive vital information regarding ground and aerial targets and issue targeting commands to air-to-air -air missiles simply by turning their heads toward the target within their line of sight without requiring manual input or altering the fighter's flight path. The decision to replace the outdated stealth coating with that used by the F-35 is logical. Lightning's coating, developed nearly two decades later, offers superior performance. Consequently, the United States will possess an even more formidable predator, poised to maintain air superiority until the advent of sixth-generation fighters, currently under development through programs like NAD and FAXX. In conclusion, we extend our best wishes to this aircraft as it undertakes the arduous task of defending the interests of the United States and its allies across the globe. Given the current global events, the times ahead may prove challenging. What are your thoughts on the F-22 Raptor and its potential role in future military conflicts? Share your opinions in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications to stay updated on our latest videos covering modern weaponry. We wish you a splendid day and look forward to seeing you again soon.